Welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, how you can use Lambda expressions in Java 8 and uh, threads. So let's get started. So I basically have a program which prints certain things uh, here, got and the number in a loop and then it prints outside saying done and uh, we can see that if we run it, it does what we expect. Uh, we got 0 through 9 and then it just prints done. So for some reason, let's say we want to run this in a different thread, the code that I've highlighted. Uh, one easy way you can do is to have a new thread. So let's just do, try to do that. Thread t is equal to new thread. And uh, we can uh, try to uh, put in a new runnable. And if we uh, do the completion, basically it is telling you right now that uh, that this uh, thread when it is started so if I'm going to do t start start it's going to run whatever is under the run and since we wanted to run this piece of code there I can cut it here and put it in there so now what I expect is that uh, this thread will start to print this and uh, this main thread will continue on so it should print done uh, at least uh, before some of these have ended. So let's just start and take a look as to what it is doing. So here is interesting that the main thread printed done right away and then the worker thread is kind of going through and printing through the loop. So that's very fine and dandy. So what we want to do is now look at uh, what is called lambda expressions and how you can convert it into a lambda expression. So if you look at it uh, the way it is, it only takes a runnable target interface. So it already knows what to expect and that interface already implements run method. So you don't really have to mention the run method and all of this code. So that's how the Lambda expression comes into uh, existence. So what we can do is we can delete all of this uh, code really. And uh, since uh, this is not going to match, uh, one of these extra things are not going to match. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit. See, let's say this matches with this. And uh, the way you create a Lambda expression is by using an arrow symbol. And uh, let me just do a, a format just so that it pretty prints. So basically, the way to read it is it's creating a new th thread to be um, started with a new runnable. And this is the parameter for the runnable. The run, there is no parameter. So we specify no parameters. So it's an empty expression. And this is how you specify the body. And the body is going to be this. And here we started the thread. So it should do exactly what was being done with the more verbose way of doing this. And uh, this is through the Lambda expression. So let's see how it runs. And you can see it prints done first and then it goes through the path. So in summary, the Lambda expressions are pretty concise way of writing uh, of um, essentially code where you can specify the parameters inside these brackets. Then just write like a little arrow and then you can specify the code that you want to run. So thank you for watching this short screencast. If you want to learn more, you can uh, go to my website, Gaur Associates and search for Java Lambda. I'll put this uh, video under that. Thank you and you have a great day.